the show director of the Olympics opening ceremony, has just been sacked just one day before the event is set to take place. And it's all because a video of him came out making jokes about the Holocaust. Now, footage of director and comedian Kentaro Kobayashi from the 1990s has emerged, showing him performing a sketch 23 years ago, quote, playing Holocaust. Well, his dismissal over the video is just the latest in a string of scandals to hit the games. And joining us to break it down is journalist Tim Horniak from Tokyo. So this clip that we just saw was from the 90s, but is it ever okay to joke about the Holocaust? And, and what was actually said here and how has Kobayashi responded? Yeah, hi. Well, thanks uh, for having me on the show. Um, I don't think it's ever really appropriate to joke about that. Uh, as for the sketch itself, uh, it's very hard to explain. Um, it doesn't make sense to me personally. But um, I think that they were, him and his partner were trying to portray popular characters from a children's show. And then all of a sudden, he, he made this remark about, like, let's play Holocaust or something like that. And I suppose the intent uh, was to try to be funny by being outrageous. And uh, Kobayashi uh, today has apologized uh, for that sketch and said his uh, actions were very inappropriate. Um, so uh, you have to look at it in the context of Japanese comedy, which has a lot of cultural references, uh, and a lot of it to outsiders may seem very unusual or bizarre. And this is certainly uh, one of those instances where uh, it was just totally inappropriate humor. Mm -hmm. uh, I should add also that, um, you know, the taboo about about, you know, references to, uh, say, Nazism or the Holocaust, etc., uh, is perhaps not uh, very well known here by some Japanese. So that's why uh, we've seen it in the past. Uh, for example, in 2016, Sony had to apologize for one of its bands, a girl band that came out on stage wearing uniforms that looked like uh, Nazi SS uniforms. So that was also... Yeah, but I, I'm assuming that if you're wearing something like that in the first place or if you're referring to the Holocaust and you do have some knowledge about it, right? So I, I don't know how much benefit of the doubt we can give to people who do those types of things. But, you know, he's not the only one. There have also been um, three other men who have been forced uh, to step down from positions in the Olympic Games over similar scandals. Can you quickly tell us about that? Yes, well, uh, for example, former PM uh, Mori uh, was forced to uh, step down earlier this year because he made uh, sexist remarks about uh, women. He uh, said that uh, women take too much time when talking, so the meetings will go on and on. Uh, he initially refused to step down, then later was sort of forced out. Uh, more recently, we've had uh, a composer for the um, music of the opening ceremonies who was uh, also uh, let go. Uh, because it emerged that uh, in the past, sort of like Kobayashi, this is a, some revelation about a long time ago, he um, delighted in uh, belittling and abusing uh, a disabled person in his class, and he sort of um, made fun of this in, in an interview in later years and, and was sort of boasting about it. So he was also let go. And this has been, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, just some of the latest scandals we've seen for this Olympics. Yeah, I mean, speaking of scandal, I mean, already this, you know, this year's Olympic Games come amidst massive unease about the coronavirus. Um, we're seeing the opening ceremony scheduled tomorrow. Is there still a chance for cancellation? And what will tomorrow's ceremony actually look like? Because it certainly won't have as many people, right? That's right. Uh, it'll only have something like 900 people because it's essentially a closed door Olympics. Uh, taxpayers are not allowed to uh, go. Uh, visitors from outside are not outside Japan are not allowed to go. So it's a closed door affair. We don't know what it's going to be like. It's still uh, under wraps. It's a secret. Uh, but I definitely think it's going to happen. There's no turning back now. And uh, we'll just have to wait until tomorrow evening, Japan time to see what kind of ceremony we'll have. Now, we've already seen dozens of cases of Olympic athletes testing positive for the coronavirus. How's the government handling the COVID situation? We're not seeing foreign spectators, but there are a lot of people coming from abroad for this. Uh, that's right. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of athletes and staff and uh, Olympics officials coming to Japan. Uh, they've tried to uh, contain the expanding um, infection wave here. We're in the fifth wave of coronavirus infections here in Japan today in Tokyo. We had nearly 2,000 cases in the capital alone. And so uh, it seems to be getting worse and worse as the Delta variant of coronavirus is spreading. Now, the difficult part is that for the Olympics officials, they're trying to um, maintain uh, this illusion of the Olympics taking place in a bubble. 
but it's impossible to keep the um, virus out, out of that bubble. And we've seen uh, two more athletes uh, test to positive today. And so uh, the total number of people since the beginning of July related to the uh, Olympics that have tested positive for coronavirus has, niche, has reached nearly 100 so far. And I expect it to keep on growing.